Now, here's what I want to talk about. Here at Late Night, um, as you can imagine, we produce a lot of comedy. We churn out the comedy. We go for volume over quality. <laughs> Most of it we put on the air. We put most of our comedy right on the air so that you at home can enjoy it. Some of the comedy we produce, for one reason or another, falls by the wayside, and it never is seen by the public. And then, so we have these tapes lying around that have all these little bits of comedy that we've never actually aired. Well, folks, these tapes have been piling up, and the sad truth is we can't afford to store them anymore. It costs a lot of money to have storage, especially here in Manhattan. So what we're going to do tonight is take all the unseen footage, stuff that's never been seen before, most of which we don't even remember making, <laughs> and we're just going to throw it out there using you, the public, as our giant dumpster. <laughs> it's a little piece we're going to call Summer Comedy Clearance. <laughs> I'm going to clear the deck. I'm going to get it out. Get it out. Get it out. We're just going to get it all out. <laughs> all right, I don't remember this first piece of tape. I saw this first piece of tape. I don't even remember why we made this or what the point was. It's called Green Room Amenities. It never aired. Uh, I'm guessing it shows off all the cool stuff we keep in our green room to please our celebrity guests. So let's uh, take a look at this never-before-seen uh, piece of tape. Hockey fight. A flattery parrot. Why haven't you won an Oscar? Even through your shirt, you can see those washboard abs. What? An animatronic Mr. T. Now your coffee is cool, fool. Now your coffee is cool, fool. That actually goes on for a while. There you go. We just got that piece of tape out. This next tape I have no memory of. It's called Bitchy Pets. Bitchy Pets. Let's see what it is. Got some dog food for you. You hungry, buddy? I was till I saw that shirt. God, someone should put that fabric to sleep. I'm having another baby. Isn't that wonderful, Charlie? Oh, fabulous. One more white trash mouth to feed. <laughs> Do you like when I stroke your fur, Mr. Whiskers? Well, I'd like it more if your hands didn't smell like a cab driver's pants. It's a bitchy cat. That's terrible. I, I know, that's terrible. There's a guy in the front row right here who just went, ha! Ah! <laughs> Settle down, guy. The show's free. All right. <laughs> guy's like, ha! Ah! What the hell was that? Cab driver's pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here's a really weird one. For some reason, earlier this summer, we forced our trombone player, La Bamba, to let himself be bitten by a radioactive spider. I don't know why we did that. I guess we wanted to see what would happen. We never aired this tape. Let's find out why. I'm with this guy now. I don't even know what that meant. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he was here for the air conditioning, yeah. Uh, okay, folks, uh, this next item is an unsolicited audition tape from a guy who wanted to be my new sidekick. He wanted to be sidekick. He sent us this tape. And uh, it just didn't work out. Not, not a very good tape. Take a look. I've always had an interest in, uh, in, in TV and television. Um, I actually run the AV club, club at the school. Um, uh, you know, some of my students have encouraged me. They're like, Mr. Dunstan, you should uh, maybe check this out. And I pissed my pants. <sighs> Mike, I think it's time we looked into the future. The future, I just pissed my pants. His new sidekick, Mike Dunstan. I just pissed my pants. 
I kiss my pants. <laughs> He's got a problem. That's not. <laughs> Guy's happy now. <laughs> he kind of liked that one. You have way too much power in show business now. Uh, now, I'm not sure what to make of this next tape. It's simply called Aquaman's New Beard. And uh, we never aired it, and we just got to get it out. So let's take a look at Aquaman's New Beard. like it. All right. This next piece of tape is actually a real outtake. We were shooting a comedy piece for the show called Muppet Faces of Death. Uh, we were shooting it outside the apartment building of our show's producer, Tracy King. And everything was going fine until the building super made an unexpected entrance. He didn't know. We didn't get permission. So he didn't know we were shooting this piece. It was almost a tragedy. Uh, let's take a look. Let's just see that again in slow motion. This almost killed this man. And we got an let's look at this. There's Kermit on the way down. And then look out! That was rough. He was not happy, as I recall, that guy. Finally, a few months ago, when the new movie uh, Star Wars uh, opened, the new Star Wars movie. Our friend Triumph the Insult Comic Dog went to visit the line of fans waiting to get into the first show. And uh, we shot this piece, and it was a big success. Uh, his report, though, Triumph's report was so long, we had to cut out part of it with, that we still thought was pretty funny, but it's never been seen. So we thought uh, tonight, before we end the piece, we'd show you this piece of tape that's never been aired. This is uh, Triumph at the uh, Star Wars uh, opening just a couple months ago. Enjoy. Look, they're giving out hats and Star Wars Legos, yes. Lego. Don't do anything crazy like give it to a child. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's a mini series on ABC. So everyone will have seen you by the time this airs. Everyone who's a loser. <laughs> Movie stars are such sluts. I know what you're into. All right, uh, we're taking a little break. When we come back, Kevin Pollock's here. We got a fine show. Just <laughs>